A ceremonial tribute to pay homage to African ancestors. A display of wreaths and other flowers marking the spot where they lay at the African Burial National Monument, the oldest and largest known excavated burial ground in North America for both free and enslaved Africans. It was rediscovered in 1991 when the federal government bought a piece of land right here in Lower Manhattan. During that time, archaeologists found remains belonging to enslaved Africans who built the city and lived here in the 16 and 1700s. With the help of the community and the National Park Service, their remains are now preserved. What we have behind me are seven mounds, and under each mound is a crypt or a container holding roughly 60 coffins. Each? Each container holds 60 coffins containing the remains of 419 individuals in total. As we commemorate the 30th anniversary of the burial ground rediscovery through speech, drums, and song, she would just fall down right from the sky. We remember their contribution to our history and how they've impacted our lives. It's affected every part of my music um, performing here because I feel such a genuine connection to the space. It makes me feel really warm inside to participate in, a, in an event like this today. It's very serious and we can never forget our history and that's what this is about, remembering history. What is a feeling you feel when you're sitting here and you're hearing the music and just being surrounded by history? Um, just trying to um, transmit the glee so that we can um, uplift our ancestors so that they can feel like they what they went through wasn't in vain. And the message for those who visit the sacred space? It's foundation. If you don't know the foundation of things, then you won't really understand how you get to the top floor. So, you know, you got to come in through the bottom floor. So this is where we are. Something that I tell visitors when they visit the African burial ground is now that you've come to this site, now that you've learned about the history, what are you going to do to bring that forward? What are you going to do to share this history to others? The event ends this Saturday and is free to the public from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m.